Tech fans, glad to see you back here on the channel. I'm Elric, welcome back to Tech of Tomorrow where we bring you all the tech all the fracking time. So what kind of tech are we looking at today? Well, today we're gonna to be unboxing and taking a look at a brand new product by the people over at Gigabyte. This is the Avia Osmium Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. It has cherry brown switches and has white backlit keys. This thing's gonna be really cool. It's a total mechanical keyboard. So, you know, it's gonna be way more heavy duty than the other keyboards. Membrane-based ones, they break very easily. The mechanical ones are much more durable. So you guys can see, we have the box right here. We have the label, we've got the keyboard, and we've got the name. Now let's flip it around the side. Nothing too much to see there, but I know everybody likes to see it all, so we're gonna go ahead and just pop that up right there, where you guys can see some of the more features. Cherry MX Brown, key force 45 grams. Durability, 50 million keystrokes, USB ports, USB 3.0 and USB 2.0 as well. Audio jacks, earphone and microphone. Backlit white, report rate, 1000 Hertz. It's got a cable that says it's two meters and it's braided. It also has some accessories, which are spare keycaps, key pullers, and the user's manual. Alrighty then, all that's good stuff. So let's flip it around. Let's take a look at the back of the box. Now, all the stuff back here are the features. So we have the Superior Cherry MX Mechanical Key Switch Technology that supports USB 3.0 or super speed via the motherboard. Absolute anti-ghosting multi-key user capability. It means you can hit the keys as many times as you want and nothing's going to happen. It's just gonna keep going and recognizing them. It says it has 18 karat gold plated connectors so Flavor Flav can wear this shiznick around his neck and act like he's the man. Five macro programmable keys, dynamic volume and backlit illumination control, full size wrist rest, ultra stable non slick rubber feet stands, macro profile switch. You can see them down here. You got one, two, three, four, five of them. We have the Ghost Macro Engine. That's their programming. That's the software you're going to put in there. It helps do all this stuff. And then we see all the accessories. So the back of the box is pretty damn well fleshed out with all the features. So. All right, folks. So now that we've seen all that stuff, let's begin the unboxing. I've got my trusty little sword here. We're going to go ahead and zoom into this and let you see that. Probably a little overkill, but what the heck, huh? Kaboom. All right. So we'll go ahead and set that down. Pop the cap, pop the cap, pop the cap, and begin to pull this thing out. It was actually kind of hard to find an area we could even do the unboxing because in all honesty, this shit's big. That's what she said. <laughs> it looks beautiful. So let's start off by, uh, you know, breaking the bottom of it off. Yeah, there you go. So here we'll start off. Here is the wrist rest, full featured, big and thick. That's what she said. <laughs> the unboxing. All right, let's keep going. What do we got here? We've got their Gigabyte Features Book. Just basically shows you all the instructions, all the stuff, how to install the profiles, how to hook it up, all those different things, your profiles, all that good stuff's right inside there. So now we see the accessories. Here is the key remover. And here go all of the extra keys. Let me go ahead and pull these out of here one by one so you folks can check them out. We'll get them up here. So check this out. Here's extra key number one. Extra key number two. Shazam! Ultra key number three. Help me! And number four. Flame on, Johnny! So we'll go ahead and get those out of the way and let's take the keyboard now out of the package. Bop it up. Now, I'm surprised I don't see the driver CD in here. It's kind of strange. So I guess you're going to draw, download that off the internet because I do not see that. So let's reposition. All right, folks. So let's start off on the left-hand side of the keyboard. Start off, we can see the escape key. Then we begin all of our F keys. Up here on top, you can see all of your programmable macro keys. You have illumination and volume control right here by these two buttons right here. Very nice and ergonomic. The keys are all Cherry MX Brown, like they said. So they have a little bit of click to them. So far, I'm just feeling it, feel very responsive. Let's go ahead and put the bottom onto it and take a look at the wrist rest. So the wrist rest just kind of pops into place like that. And then we have the wrist rest set on there. 
Here over here, we see the Avia logo. We have the num lock, caps lock, scroll lock. Let's turn the keyboard to the side. On the side of the keyboard, we see USB 3.0. Now, I just want to mention though, this works off your computer. So you're going to have to make sure that you plug this into a USB 3.0 on your motherboard to use the capabilities of this. You also get your headphones and a mic input all right here on the side of the keyboard. Let's flip it around and show you guys the back side. On the back side of the keyboard, we see another single USB 2.0 connector. On the other side, we have nothing but the logo. So you've got the logo sitting right there looking cool. Here's the back of the keyboard. And here's the very back of it. We'll just show you guys that. Now there are a couple different flip things here. One on each side, as well as ones on the front to raise the whole keyboard up. So that's totally different than anything else I've seen before. You usually only get these. These are something new. Also, let's take a very, very close look at the cable. Now, this is not your ordinary cable by any means. You guys can see this cable is very thickly braided all the way through. High quality components, very heavy duty. Even everything that comes is covered from the factory. You guys can see everything's covered. So when you want to use it, you just unplug it. Make that little popping noise. Let's see if I can get the microphone to catch that just for shits and giggles there. But that's all the connections. So this thing's gonna be $129. You guys can see it actually looks very, very nice. The wrist rest seems very comfortable. You get all of the extra keys and the key remover, all for 129 bucks. Totally mechanical, complete, Everything you need, all in a single mechanical keyboard. So I hope you guys like this. This is basically the unboxing and first look. I'll have to plug it in and see what the rest of the stuff is later. But for now, this has been it. So thanks for watching. Glad to see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow. If you guys like this video and like more stuff like this, hit that like button and show me that you love me. You know I love you. With that said, I'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow, where you should be subscribed.